Fangster. Bring in my boy. What's up, Kevin? Not much. How's it going? I'm big chilling, dude. So you One. guys doing round robin? I literally just got here. So yeah, we're doing round on? robin. We're six people. Okay. Uh, I just played against Pop. Pop something. Yeah. He's cool. He had a really fun set. We were kind of just goofing off the whole time. Yeah. Okay, so you guys just round robin, and then winner of that round robin wins the tournament, or are you guys going to go into some bracket? I'm pretty sure it's winner of that round robin just wins the tournament. Because yeah. by then everyone will have played everyone. Yeah, so, so no the results sense. will be obvious. Okay. Okay, sorry, so. He's playing Falco? Or who's, uh, who's Funk Trocious is a Falco, I know that. Okay. So how is he pulling out the fox? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So how's, so how's this pulling out the fox and losing so far? Yeah. Funk Trocious kind of came out of nowhere recently. I don't know if he's a new player or if he's just from a different region. Yeah. Okay, so he's pretty good then. So I. Well, if he's not like he's not newbie bad, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I I wanted to sit down because I want to watch Sheik play, but <laughs> I guess Psych. You get Fox. I guess so. Like, why would you go Fox against Falco? Like, I get. I don't um, think the Sheik grab loses. conversions are really good. Yeah. They're, I wouldn't say better than Sheik because she has the tech chase. Yeah. But they're like really, really good for racking easily, like 60% combos from zero. And I guess if you get Falco below stage, it's like guaranteed with that shine. Pretty much. Or you can do like an auto cancel like Rising Bear off of ledge, oh, okay. which co covers like a huge arc. Yeah. It's like a really good uh, option for Fox. He went for up smash at the ledge there. I, maybe it's just because I'm chic. I would have ran up and down smashed. <laughs> As the spaces, you don't really want to use down smash very much. No. I guess because you can. Um. Yeah, but like the, the spaces down smashes are used for different things. Falco's is used in all of Fox's uh, contexts, but Fox's is not used in all of Falco's. Because okay. Falco's hitbox is slightly lower, so it shield pokes more. Oh, okay. And it's a stronger kill move, so it's more likely to be used as an option. Yeah. And that's kind of what uh, the use of that move is. Right. And then also, what do you think he struck to Battlefield? I feel like if you're going to go Fox, so you don't want to strike to the stage. I don't like Battlefield in this matchup on either side. Yeah. I just don't like the Battlefield ledges. And I feel that they both hinder the spaces more than yeah. every other stage. So, like, I feel in this stage in particular is very slightly Palco favored yeah. just because of the height. The, the height? The height the of the stage. Lower. Okay, yeah. He dies slightly sooner. Um, the, the platforms are all really easily comboable off of. It's kind of like a worse Yoshi's. Okay, yeah. Is how I view Battlefield in yeah. this matchup specifically. I think the only, so, I don't know, maybe I'm a scrub, but the only thing that I think when I'm like a Falco on a stage is I go, okay, at least I've eliminated Fox's ability to wall ride. And like when his recovery has become a little bit more. Uh, like rock, paper, scissors, and not like you've suddenly added, I don't know, one of those obscure like rock, rock paper, scissors, like, oh, I've got fire now. Or, yeah, but wall riding is, is pretty big, but it's also very coverable in all the stages by down smash. Yeah, or down okay. Here. On this stage, like, because when you remove Fox's ability to wall ride, you also remove Falco's ability to wall ride. Yeah. Which is slightly less slightly less prominent because of the, the distance of Falco's up B. Yeah, but yeah. it's still really useful for when Falco's under the stage. Yeah. So like when Falco's under the stage on any stage, he can wall right up. Yeah, yeah. But not on this one. Yeah. So it removes that option from both characters. Okay, this is super close. Oh, Sakurai. Oh, no, no. You Let's go funk trocious. <laughs> okay, now does he switch though? He pulls the funk. I hope he switches. I, I, see, I, I want to see Sheik. I think Hazu's Sheik would crush him. But... Yes. But he picks Samus. <laughs> <laughs> Very briefly considered Samus. Okay, and then goes back to the same stage. I do agree with this stage. I don't know. On Falco's side or on Sheik's side? On Sheik's side. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. For pretty much all of the reasons we talked about last yeah. video. La last video. Last <laughs> last match. Yeah. Match. Oh, I don't even make chase. videos. Why did I say that? Oh, he got the jab reset, and I think he just assumed that he was going to roll anyway. Can we see that on no. there? No. 
No, we oh. can't see anything. Oh my, no signal. Oh, we can see, ah. I can read their faces. I just heard Sheik die. Heard Sheik, yeah, so Functrocious in the lead. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. When, before we cut, Sheik was winning. Sometimes it's all it takes. One camera cut for Falco to take the lead. Ooh! No, that was fishing. Just get the ledge. Sheik back air to outspace up tilt is really good. I like that. Yeah. <clears throat> Must be really annoying as a, as a space he did to get. Not, it hasn't happened to me too many times. But it looks, it just looks like it feels bad, man. Ooh, this combo oh, is nice. This combo is going on. But he misses the platform tech chase. Oh, that's nice. Cut a little bit. And you may as well go out there. Oh, oh he dies. Alright, sometimes, honestly, I feel like that's a good way to bait. Maybe just for low level Sheiks, but I feel like it's a good way to bait Sheiks. If you just go low enough, even though you know you're not going to recover, if you go low enough that, like, the Sheik just goes, oh, well, I don't know for sure, so I'm just going to go out there and hit them, and the Sheik just goes too far off stage, and you just, like, you, you forced her into this awkward up B situation where. A little mix up. Yeah. Yeah, I, mm, I feel as though when he got the Nair out of shield to get him off stage, he was already done. Yeah, he exactly. Didn't need to, he didn't need to uh, do so He just had to grab ledge there. Exactly, yeah. And that's why I... Anyway, this is maybe my own play, but I, I just always start by grabbing ledge. I'm like, okay, worst case scenario is I grab ledge, and I've lost myself, like, I don't know, half a second. Like, right there, just grab ledge. I would have yeah, grabbed ledge. Yeah, like, against the majority then, of the cast, you can react to what they exactly. do. Exactly. And then you get yourself invincibility, and, like, in that situation, exactly, like, when he was up being straight up, you could have just dropped from ledge back air. I'm like, it's mm -hmm. just... It's, and I think that was a Kirby Kaze thing that I, he, like, recommends that, whereas, like, if you're Sheik... You may as well just get in the habit of oh, getting ledge as quickly as possible. Platform God following damn. with the pressure. That was really good. Yeah, that was really nice. <laughs> oh. I want to see game three, though. I kind of want to see game three as well. Okay, he's oh. totally, this is totally doable. This is one tech chase away. Oh, but he looks so nervous. Like, I just feel like when you see someone not grab ledge right there, like, even though he didn't have to grab ledge, like, it just oh, looked like his fingers in. froze. Oh, tech chase? Okay, tech chase. Yeah, I would have. Oh. I would have read up smash. <laughs> I would have down smashed there. Yeah. Uh, he had, he had uh, di'd in, so I think he was on the inside stage. If he was on the outside and like the down smash would have knocked him off stage, I would have done down smash. I would have done oh. it for the second knockdown tech chase. Okay, yeah. Because he was over 20, and you can't CC it. Yeah. Oh no, that forward air. Oh no, that's it. Yikes! It's best out of five. Oh, it is best out of five. I okay. forgot that. I forgot <laughs> it was best of five. Okay, if that's out of five, then yeah, I still pick Battlefield as my first first stage. Yeah. Okay, but now this is where I start considering like switching. I just go, oh, maybe I'll just. I, I always like changing the stage because I feel like uh, Founder Dreams is not that bad for Sheik. Like it's it's closer than I think Falco's think it is. But I sometimes just go FOD just because I'm like, well, maybe this Falco doesn't like FOD because I think it, it really like. It affects how people play mm -hmm. on FOD, just the, the platforms changing height, and like you, you can't play your normal laser game, I guess. Yeah, who can who can adjust to the stage better? Yeah. And I think it's easier for Sheik to adjust than it is for Falco to adjust. Because mm -hmm. she actually gets a lot of a lot of uh, extra options in terms of like, yeah. shield drop, fast aerials, and stuff. She can like cover the entire length of the platform. Just and I was gonna say when, when, when you down throw someone and they go on uh, the platform, like it doesn't really end the tech chase because now you just you know their entire roll length, right? Like, they mm -hmm. roll right, they're just at the edge of the platform. They roll left, they're at the left edge of the platform. So, like, it makes tech chasing. You can, yeah, wave land, re-grab. Yeah, yeah. Or put oh. out a Nair, which covers, like, three out of four options, usually. Yeah, yeah, actually, exactly. Anyway, but this looks like a smart choice. He just knew, he's like, I just gotta play better. He had to warm the Sheik up after the last one. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, down Ooh. there, yeah. Oh, wow. he gets shined. Just a little short on the down there. Uh, I just would've fared him, like... <laughs> If I if I'm down two games, that's when you start seeing like I just fair <laughs> earlier. I'm like forget it, just get Falco off stage. He sucks off stage. I think Fal I think I think Hazy needs to just do the oh yeah I'm good at this game kind of <laughs> moment. Forward throw. Oh, yeah. he jumps above the needles. I, I would have thrown those needles too. I just would have yeah. assumed he'd go for ledge and hit those needles. That was really good from from, from Funk Trocious to not get hit by yep. them. Straight best angle man. <laughs> he just went horizontal. Straight's the ultimate mix up dude. No one goes straight anymore. No. <laughs> Ooh. 
I think this third game might be turkeys. In. I think it's in the bag. Yeah. We disagree with the stage, but at the same time, not terrible. Yeah. Worked no, uh, like he you knew it. He just had to play better. Yeah, I think the game plan, Sheik Falco, Falco, is pretty much the same on all the stages. Uh, Except yeah. Except for maybe uh, Pokemon. Well, I was gonna say so. It's gonna suck because he's gonna probably go to Final Destination next, and I like I think that's that's the huge advantage in this matchup. It's mm -hmm. like Sheik sucks on Final Destination. I and, forgot about and Falco's FD. really good at. At Final Destination. Oh. oh, the back air? Yep. The weakest stomp, stomp me in the game. Poof to back air. <laughs> yep. Oh, he still gets it. Okay, that, oh. that was bizarre. I would have never done that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, no, what are you doing? He lives! Yeah, down smash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How's he? What are you doing, dude? <laughs> That was for his own confidence. He's like, I need to win this with like an extra pizzazz. Like goof. I can't just uh, I can't just win this on grabbing ledge. Okay, so now this is really tough. Sheik's Sheik gets a buff in terms of her combos that are actually like pretty easy. Cause you like you can't run away to a platform as, as mm -hmm. Falco or DI towards a platform. So when you get these launchers with dash stack, like you you know exactly what's gonna happen. But it's neutral, it's a little bit more tricky, yes. right? Because you can't get in. Yeah. Yeah. So I was playing Anvil this like, and, and actually I was playing Calvin as well, and both of them agree that that playing, <laughs> and I went nowhere with it. That sucks. Um, but they both agree that like, for Falco to actually like get the whole advantage of this, he has to play really lame. Like, you've got to be down to laser nonstop. Yeah, dude. And really like cheese out neutral. But you win 100% oh, of yeah. the time. Yeah, like I I totally think it was played perfectly. Like, well, I'd say put quotes around perfectly, but I mean just. If the laser game is like on point, then it's really difficult for Sheik to get in. Unless the Sheik is like super high level, like their power shields are on point. Yeah, if you can power shield everything, this match, uh, this stage gets a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Cause, it, cause also like what goes with Sheik's combo game? Oh, that sucks. That yeah. that that needle's like all in. Cause you you're forced to recover from below the stage after, and it's just oh. rough. You can't you can't sweet spot. You can't even do like a mix up where you pull back. It's, Brutal. Anyway, I was gonna say Falco's punish game gets a buff on this as well. Yeah, it does. The options get a lot more linear. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that, that was actually like a good back here. No, just, a, just one that came out kind of as soon as he could. Oh, oh no, he's really struggling with these edge guys. I mean, like it's still a stock lead, but dude, just grab the ledge. Run. Oh, okay, How's that there? works. Cleans it up, but yeah. I mean, how much can we really shit talk him? He's three stocks to one. Yeah. <laughs> on the counter pick. Yeah. Now I'm trying to think, like, what's going wrong for, for Funktrosis here? Like, I think he's just not getting... Like, I saw him shield at the start of the stop. Yeah, I think and, like, he's just he doing just some shielded. unsafe stuff. He's not abusing the Yeah, like, Falco pick. should be yeah. dictating who shields. He doesn't just, like, run in. You don't run in and shield with Falco and leave leave yourself open to a grab by Sheik. Yeah, he's not lasering safely, and he's kind of... He'll, he'll laser unsafely and then follow it up with an unsafe approach. Yeah. And then he's just kind of getting grabbed. Or like F tilted. Yeah. Uh, up air? No, it won't connect. Yeah, he's just going to fall down with that pair. Okay, that was pretty dominant. This is yeah. bizarre. I don't know like what happened in game like, 1 and 2. And then it's just like, I don't know, maybe a Sheik is. His fingers are ready to play Sheik again. Yeah, he was, I, I think Haozu just awakened. Yeah. He just, his chakra opened up and he was just like, <laughs> <laughs> I can play Sheik now. Uh oh, and then he switches to Tiyoshi. Uh, maybe not a bad idea, I don't know. If, like I said, you have to play a certain style to win on FD, and if he wasn't feeling it, then you're yeah. not feeling it. I think once once you lose like convincingly on FT, you can't go back. Yeah. Because you know you're gonna lose at that point. I mean, unless you're feeling really confident that like, oh, you just played poorly, but yeah. like, no, I just didn't grab enough. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if I grabbed more, he was dead. I swear. Oh. Oh, he's got a crouch cancel more. I feel like he's getting hit by too many. Like every time I see him get F tilted and then pop up, I'm like, why weren't you holding down? Mm-hmm. Nice. You know, I'm not seeing a lot of grabs from Functrocious. Yeah. He's not grabbing at all, and it's making Turkey's shielding really safe. 
Yeah. Like really, yeah, really yeah, safe. Yeah, you're right. Eh? So Turkey can just kind of shield whatever he oh, wants. Oh, got his jump. And then, like, it just opens Nair out of shield as, like, a combo starter that you can just do whenever yeah. he wants. Gets the knockdown situation, goes for a tech chase. Oh. Yeah, like, not a grab. Oh, Down no. throw. Yeah. Oh, he grabs him. Boost grab. That was good. Yep. Oh, uh, boost grab just <laughs> if anybody plays Sheik and you're you're wondering why tech chasing so hard, start boost grabbing. It's so much easier. <laughs> How about you uh, explain oh, for the no. fans at home what the technical input for a boost grab is? Uh, I think there's more than one way to do it, but the the way I do it is you so the whole I concept behind a boost grab is that you